Some of us are used to depending on cell phones for a lot of things these days, but this morning they became only the only way some people could call for help. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Landline service for customers across the area went down this morning after AT&T says another company cut their fiber line. Sam Luther explains how this impacted people who needed help, an organization that helps the elderly and your kids on the way to school. Sam. Josh, Latricia, when the system went down, everybody with an AT&T landline was really out of luck, unable to call anybody or receive any calls. A familiar sound for frustrated callers across the county, especially impacting people that work with senior citizens like Alexi and Brothers Pace. All of our phone lines here, even if we have an answering service, are landline phones. Pace transports around 300 senior citizens to doctor's appointments and cares for them every day. For us, the communication is very, very key. Making today's outage severe for many, especially those who need help in an emergency. In the 15 years I've been here, I've never had one this widespread. Landline calls to 911 would couldn't go through, leaving many counties asking the public to call cell phone numbers if they needed help. And during just the second week of school, Hamilton County dealt with a downed bus line, a service that allows parents to call if they have trouble with their child's bus or stop. So immediately we went to social media and provided uh, a different number that would allow parents to continue to be able to get that information to us while the uh, phone lines were down. An issue that started at 4 or 5 a.m. according to E911 but didn't stop communication altogether. We made sure that we were able to still communicate with our families to let them know that there was an issue. And we're now told that all of those phones are now up and running again like normal and that those problems like call quality have now been fixed. Live tonight in Hamilton County, Sam Luther, News Channel 9. Sam, thank you. An AT&T spokesperson says the fiber was cut by another company. They worked as quickly as possible to repair the damage and apologized for any inconvenience.